Stop it and tidy up. And here's all their friends. Comb your hair, wash your face, and hurry up. Go and play with his favorite toy. And poor little, calm down. A nasty little, not now. The two bees behave and be quiet. Sleepy old, go to bed. And don't do that. Take care. Eat your greens. Clean your teeth. And the big, bad, I said no. Today, we meet Go to Bed. It's another fine day in the land of do as you're told. <coughs> Tidy Up was feeling very pleased with himself today. <coughs> He'd managed to grow an enormous flower. Isn't that nice? <coughs> that was a funny noise. <coughs> Who did that? <coughs> Go to bed. Fast asleep in Tidy Up's flower. <coughs> now, Tidy Up didn't like that much. So he told Go to bed to go and find somewhere else to sleep. So poor old Go to bed wandered off. And Tidy Up continued to water his flower, which was getting bigger all the time. Oh, Tidy Up's a clever chap, isn't he? <laughs> that must be one of the nicest flowers he's ever grown. Meanwhile, poor old Go to bed was still trying to find somewhere to sleep. He was always very tired, Go to bed. He just couldn't stay awake. And just then, <coughs> wash your face came by. And he just loved <coughs> jumping in puddles. Oh dear, go to bed decided he'd better find somewhere more peaceful to get some sleep. He decided he'd try at the bottom of a great big rock. But just as he drifted off, there was a strange squeaking noise. It was go and play. And he just just sitting on top of his rock, playing with his toys. Go to bed wouldn't be able to get much sleep here. There must be somewhere where he wouldn't be disturbed. Eventually, he found a nice, soft gherkin to lean against. It wasn't long before he drifted off into a nice, deep sleep. Ooh, that was until not now came running by, chasing naughties all over the place. Poor old go to bed. Didn't look as if he was going to get any sleep at all today. Tidy up still wouldn't let go to bed sleep in his flower. So go to bed wandered off to the dump to see if he could get some peace and quiet over there. Stop it, popped out. As usual, he wanted to know what was going on. Go to bed tried to doze off by an old television set. But then he leant on the button. And the television came on. They were showing cartoons. Oh, go to bed. It was Derek Strong and the Space Martians. Now that was Stop It's favorite program. Mine too. There was so much noise that go to bed stood no chance of getting to sleep at all. Everyone else had heard it too. They were all coming to see. Everyone in the land would do as he told, like watching cartoons on the telly. Even Tidy Up. They all cheered when Derek Strong zapped the Martian. All except go to bed. He was too tired. Then he had an idea. While everyone else was watching the telly, he crept quietly away. So, he did manage to get to sleep in Tidy Up's flower after all. And the flower was now so tall that when Tidy Up came back from watching the television, he wouldn't even know that Go To Bed was up there, fast asleep. <laughs> <laughs>